billionaire Bill Gates purchases more prime farmland, and this time it's in North Dakota. The recent purchase of 2,100 acres of prime North Dakota farmland by a group tied to billionaire Bill Gates sparked outrage among residents whose complaints have prompted the state's top prosecutor to intervene. Many people in the state believe they're being exploited by the extra wealthy. Public records cited by Ag Week, Agriculture Week, shows that the Gates-linked Red River Trust bought the farmland from the owners of Camp Bell Farms, a potato farming group that is headquartered in Grafton, North Dakota. Gates is already considered the largest private owner of farmland in the United States, with some 269,000 acres in dozens of states, according to last year's edit edition of the Land Report 100, an annual survey of the nation's largest landowners. Fox Business reports in question is a Depression-era law meant to protect fa uh, farming families. North Dakota's Attorney General has asked the trust involved in the purchase to explain how it plans to use the land in order to meet rules outlined in the state's anti-corporate farming law. The law prohibits all corporations or limited liability companies from owning or leasing farmland or ranch land with some exceptions. I don't know that it's quite as volatile a situation as some have depicted, North Dakota Republican Attorney General Drew Ringley told Associated Press Thursday. He said it's taken off, it's all over the planet, but it's not, it's not me sticking a finger in the eye of Bill Gates. That's not what it, this is, he said. Now, the State Agriculture Commissioner, Republican Doug Goring, told North Dakota TV station that some residents feel they're being exploited by the ultra-rich who buy land but do not necessarily share the state's values. Goring said, I've gotten a big earful on this form from clear across the state. It's not even from the neighborhood. Those people are upset, but there are others. There are just livid. They're just livid about this. Goring, who is currently on a state-sponsored trade mission to the United Kingdom, did not immediately respond to a list of questions emailed by the AP. And now that Gates is seizing control of America's farmland, is it a coincidence that globalist institutions like the UN have suddenly started warning about an incoming global food shortage? This is by Neam Harris on News Punch. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.